Hi, everyone. My name is Esty Garrity, and I'm the Chief Medical Officer at Esri. And I'm really excited to show you my new favorite visualization for the COVID-19 pandemic, because I think this is so useful for capturing a, an enormous amount of information in uh, one quick view. So this is an application that we're calling COVID Pulse. And uh, you can see the lines squiggling across there almost look like an EKG, uh, giving you that sense of a pulse of COVID-19 across the country. What you're seeing is actually a cartographic technique called spark lines. And each one of these, there's nice handy hover tools that give you critical information over each state. But these lines are showing you from the very beginning of the cases in the United States, what the trend has looked like. Um, and that y-axis is normalized so that you can actually compare one state to another effectively. So this data comes from the Johns Hopkins University uh, data stores that they've been working on since early in the pandemic. And we're showing here new cases per capita, deaths per capita, we can easily switch over, or cumulative cases, which of course that's always an upswinging line. Let's just focus on the new cases per capita. This is a typical epidemic curve that you're seeing. But what gets really impressive is that we can zoom in and see this at the county level. And you can start to see some interesting things. Like in California, where I live, we can see that the Central Valley is really where we've had uh, higher spikes. Uh, so again, this is normalized for the population when we're thinking about which counties in different states are ready to uh, loosen restrictions and get back to maybe a more normal state of life, this kind of information can be very helpful. But it goes beyond that. I can click on any of these places and get uh, some information at the bottom that shows us the actual cases uh, in the epidemic curve per day, cases per day, over time, so I can see the magnitude of what's going on, how this trend line was created, and then I also get a sense of the deaths and the cumulative cases as I showed in the beginning. I'll also quickly draw your attention to the fact that these lines are color-coded based on another map that uh, we created previously. Maybe you saw it, it was our county trends map showing the pandemic in different phases uh, of emerging pandemic, spreading, epidemic phase, controlled, or end stage. So you get this really quick view of what the pandemic looks like in each county for the entire length of the pandemic, where they are in terms of current stage, um, and I think that this is incredibly useful information. I hope you like it too. Thank you.